Let's read Luke 24, verse 13. Just write offense. Offense will always come. If we can overcome offenses, we will always be righteous before God. We will always be ready for God's visitation. If truly we can of overcome all these offenses, our spiritual eyes will be open. We will be able to, to dissect. Temptations will always come. Challenges will come. But when they come, we are not supposed to be surprised and get offended. Because that's where Jesus will say, What things? That can make you to be offended. Such things cannot make you like that. We are bound to know that we will face those things. Offense are there to bring displeasure. Offense are stumbling blocks. They are there to, to block us so that we must not walk the way we walk. Can you tell offense are there to change your work? What Satan wants to do is to change, to change you from what you were doing. In other words, Satan is not happy the way you are doing things. So offense will come. So that you must not believe what you were believing before. What the devil wants to do with you is to trouble you. Just to trouble you. And when the trouble comes to offend you. And when you are offended, automatically you cannot be in the things of the spirit. Whatever you think is no longer the thing you thought. It means you're offended. You took all these years believing. Something bad happened yesterday. You say, I trust this man. I trust this man. I trust this man. You are excited. Very soon. I don't know if I trust him. I don't know if I trust him. You are offended. In other words, it means you put yourself before you inspect. Once you get an offense, you have sinned against God. You must know that whatever is not of righteous is sin. Whatever is not of righteous is sin. Luke 17. From verse 1 to 4. The one who brings that kind of an offense is going to be punished. He's going to be judged. We don't need to fight people who are bringing stumbling blocks, making you to sin. Because offense makes you to sin against God. So whoever makes you to sin against God, woo to that person. Woo to those who cause stumbling blocks. Woe to those people. That's the Go. first thing. The second one is yeah. we must know that they are the younger ones. We must be careful that we must not offend them. The younger ones are there. We must not offend them. The third one is there are people who offend us 
And if they are able to come to us forgiveness, we must forgive them. Because if we don't forgive them, we are also causing an offense. If someone says, I'm asking forgiveness, and you deny to give a person the repentance, you have caused that one to have an offense. So you can make offense all the time. Be careful how you make it. There are some people who will offend you deliberately. Just deliberately because they have been saved by Satan. But you as a child of God teach them repentance. Holding grudges. Try to defend yourself. Proving a point. It takes the spirit of God away from you. And limit God's power. There's a grace of God. That comes your way. Is when you are challenged. Is when you are tempted. Is when you are facing all. But you tell yourself. I forgive. If you do that, I'm telling you, you are going to be in a position where God wants you. Matthew 13, 53, 53 to 58. Offense to the power of God. If we have offenses, offenses, we must forget about doing mighty things. You are limited because of an offense. You are still worrying about someone who hurt you 10 years ago. And you want to pay back. You want to fight back. You are still worried. And you are expecting God to move. God will never move when you are failing to do what he did for you. When you are failing to do what he did for you. It becomes easy for you to forgive when you know what Jesus did for you. Your promotion in the spirit is an overcoming. It's when you overcome a temptation, an offense, a stumbling block, any challenge in your life. Matthew 18 verse 7. We can end up Fighting the mission of Christ. By making an offense. And an offense is there. To find ourselves. Fighting the biggest commission. James 5. Verse 16. Two things there. We are, we are, we are learning. What offenses can do? They bring sickness. They bring sickness. They, number two, they misplace us. We are misplaced. Many people are functioning where they are not supposed to function. So, yeah, the Bible says, confess, pray for one another so that there will be healing and restoration. When you confess your offenses to each other, you find your assignment. You find who you are. You understand why you are there. Offense does that. It, it removes you where God positions you. Some challenges you are going through is because you have been misplaced. You went to a wrong church. And you want to marry, you marry your wife there. Later you come to another church. You saw another woman. You realize this was not supposed to be your wife. You need to know that an offense can make you to offend others. And also destroy your position in life. If you 
check how are long are you people. offending and you confess and you, confess and you pray God will start to speak with you child you're not supposed to be doing this why are you doing this you're not supposed to stay here stop offending people you need to find out whom are you offending because where you are offending that's where you are limited if you reach a level where you cannot be limited if you reach that level there's no there's no level that you cannot go i don't know if you're hearing me there is nothing that will hinder you. God will never speak. If you have got grudges with someone, forgive anyone and God of mercy will see you through. Proverbs 19 verse 11. The moment when you want to know you are big, you listen to your opposers. They will accuse you. Pray for them. Over don't don't look at their transgression. Overlook it. Pray and God will give you honor and glory. God wants to rewrite your life. There are things that have to come your way. Learn to forgive. I say learn to forgive. There's glory and honor that is about to come to you. If, if you believe so, hallelujah. They have to be betrayers. They have to be liars. If you are bound to succeed. If you want to see you are going somewhere. Check your opposition. Check opposition. Whoever opposes you is telling you your door is open. A door of success is open. A door of breakthrough is open. If you want to see that God wants to bless you, check how many people are trying to offend. How many people people but will try to offend you. Satan will follow you when you are living a righteous life. The moment when you say you cannot offend people, you want everybody to be happy, you want to live right, you are the target. Don't be surprised. It's a promotion. I say it's a promotion. Receive that promotion. God bless you.